1933, it's claimed that a UFO crashed in the Lombardy region of Italy. And apparently it was then taken by the military and studied. A UFO crashed here in Roswell, New Mexico, and then the government covered it up. To me, this is a fact. He said that the Air Force was out there. When they went out there, there was a crash. There were bodies that they took. All grays? Yeah. That's all gray. Sometimes the sky drops more than rain. Cryptic figures, unidentified objects, and animals that have no business flying. Let's dig into the mysteries from above. This is the sight that graced the eyes of a tourist. The UFO looked like it had toppled earlier, but there wasn't any dust on it, suggesting it may have been picked clean. The tourist approached the UFO, but the video cut off too early for us to tell what happened. Although we've received official confirmation about the existence of UFOs, I'm not that convinced. This UFO is a bit too perfectly shaped like a saucer, and it's unusually clean. But you be the judge. Martian Meetup This mystery cruiser was allegedly recorded by a couple of tourists who swear they haven't touched up the video in any way. Once the video had landed, three mysterious humanoid figures emerged from the spaceship, having visited here before. The aliens then swiftly returned to the ship, and it flew off into the distance, gone within seconds. If this is a legit sighting, this is proof that extraterrestrial visitors have always been among us. But we haven't got a clue. 51's Probe This massive orb landed in the middle of the desert, but eagle-eyed observers noticed something peculiar. The UFO had visited a testing facility allegedly believed to be Area 51. Now that's something. We've suspected for a while that Area 51 was keeping aliens that had been captured over the years, but what if Area 51 is just a communication center for extraterrestrials? I'd like to find out what they're doing in there, especially now that we're seeing this giant UFO casually knock at its doors. Secret Visitors we certainly have some scratch marks. No signs of buckling, fracture, or anything. No. In April 2016, Arizonian residents living close to the Mexican borders reportedly saw something giant dashing toward the ground and seemingly disappear into the desert with a loud bang. They immediately notified authorities, but were dismissed and told they'd heard nothing but a transformer, until one resident couldn't take it anymore and decided to investigate on their own, and found something peculiar on Google Maps a giant UFO-shaped silhouette in the smack dab of the middle of the desert, and with an SUV alongside. How convenient, somewhere the general public wouldn't normally go. So, whoever is handling the UFO knows what they're up to. Chilean UFO This just happened in Chile and is raising quite a few theories about an incoming alien invasion. Of course, it's also the first time we've seen an alien craft this close, and we finally get to see how it functions. I'm assuming the metallic ring is some sort of invisible baseline. Without it, the UFO may not be able to go back home at all. And if you think about it, considering there have been a few sightings of mysterious rings embedded in the ground, who says they aren't just waiting for a UFO to land? And where's the fun in assuming it's just CGI? <laughs> Sky Mattress That's the question. We've seen monoliths mysteriously appear in the ground, but up in the air? Either the aliens are getting real creative or gravity is disappearing in some parts of the Earth. This happened in Paris, right in the middle of a residential street, but surprisingly didn't gather much crowd, until the video went viral and naturally attracted wild theories. It could be a clever photography trick, or maybe genius video editing, but with the way things have been going, might very well be an unexplained phenomena. Launch to loss. 
a farmer in southern China had to take cover when he noticed something hurtling from the sky at an impressive speed. The metallic object was shaped like a rocket. So the smart farmer immediately dove to the ground, ducking towards shelter, hopefully escaping anything that flew his way. In just a few seconds, a blaring explosion followed. But why we'd all like to freak out and think this is some rocket launch gone wrong, I think it could be something innocent. It may look like a rocket, but it might be part of a satellite that lost control and instead shook the ground. Sky Scar. I was in this bedroom right here. It came through the roof right up in there. You'd have to be really down on your luck if a meteorite decided to crash land in your home. Ruth Hamilton experienced this, and let's just say she's thanking the heavens it didn't happen when she was at home. The meteorite broke through her roof and sped right into her room, where it plopped on her pillow. I think I'm just in wonder. Yeah, you know, every time I go into the bedroom, I go, oh my goodness, that could have hit me. If she'd been home or in bed, this whole story would have taken another direction. Canadian authorities were mortified when they learned this happened and thankfully stepped up to help. But Hamilton seemed pretty calm despite missing the Grim Reaper by a few inches. Maybe she had pretty good home insurance. Sounded like an explosion happened. Jumped out of bed, ran over and turned on the light and saw a hole in my room. Backyard touchdown. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. Satellites have found a legal loophole. They can stalk us from the sky and won't get in trouble. But one satellite took its job a little too seriously when it landed directly in the middle of someone's backyard. A family in Siganaw County in Michigan was left puzzled when the satellite made its territory in their home. The couple notified authorities who identified the satellite as a Samsung space selfie balloon. Turns out the satellite belonged to Samsung. The satellite was supposed to land somewhere else, but unpredictable weather conditions steered it toward the couple's home. Thankfully, everyone remains safe. But what a PR stunt! Which launched it just days ago as part of a PR stunt to do the world's first selfie in space. Dreams in Debris a year ago, residents in Mahastra, India witnessed bright streaks or light whizzing through the sky. Chalking it off to meteors, residents ignored the sight until a few days later. Villagers living in a remote area were woken with a loud bang. They rushed outside to find bits and pieces of something large and metallic, almost as if some alien spaceship had crashed there. Spooked, villagers alerted authorities who collected giant metallic rings and other parts of the mysterious object scattered across three villages. Initially, people assumed an alien visitor had left behind souvenirs, but it turned out to be part of a Chinese spacecraft that had breached Indian airspace a couple of days ago. Liftoff. It seems gravity really loves its job, yet another metallic sphere made its way to Earth, but this time in a secluded beach in Brazil, where beachgoers barely missed the crash by inches. A few experts theorized it could be part of a man-made aircraft because they spotted a gas-fitting nozzle at one end. But officials rejected this theory because no aircraft had lost a part. This naturally pushed people to wonder where the mysterious metallic orb had come from. If it really is an alien object, how did they manage to perfect its design to match ours? Or are some of us collaborating with aliens? The orb was confiscated by the government, but nothing came of it. So we're unsure and even more suspicious. No. Money heist. We think meteors are a bad thing, but they can be a blessing in disguise. After hearing a loud bang coming from his backyard, Joshua, a North Sumatran resident, went to investigate and found a small rock, still hot from its flight. Knowing the meteor was an incredible find, Joshua immediately packed it up in a cloth and alerted authorities who rushed to Joshua's house. Not only because it was a space relic, 
but because it was worth $1.5 million. Thankfully, Joshua and his family were safe and smart enough to not give it up. So they didn't give up the meteor until they found a good enough deal. Sight of Secrets If you think UFOs are only just starting to appear, you might need to travel back to 2015, when a giant object mysteriously crashed in Santon, South Africa. The sight was so bizarre it halted traffic and had news reporters rushing to get the first beat. Initial investigations revealed that it might belong to an aircraft that was zooming over. But wouldn't there have been some uproar? They then claimed it belonged to a satellite, but yet again, no such news spread in the area. So we're left with only one possible explanation. It really did belong to a UFO. But even though it's been a couple of years, we can't say anything for sure. Inked with success. In 2020, residents across India complained of mysterious black rocks suddenly falling from the sky, damaging some of their property in the process. For a while, their complaints went unheard, but when one Indian resident took to social media, authorities scrambled to do damage control. The rocks belonged to a meteor that was seen entering Indian skies a few weeks ago, but nothing came of it. Experts believe the meteor's debris might have scattered in the air falling in different places at different times. Well, let's hope the citizens kept those rocks because they're worth diamonds. Octoturn This tentacled UFO made an appearance in the skies of Mexico two months ago. And despite a few coming forward with logical theories, they've all fallen flat. The first claimed that it was just a hot air balloon. But look at the bottom, and you'll see there's no base to hold some sort of flame. The second believed it was an octopus-shaped drone, but yet again, you can't really see any whizzing blades. So what is it? Honestly, Mexican researchers are still scratching their heads, because despite probing into the sighting a few times, they've yet to find out what it is. Aurora's Offspring You might want to pull out your sunglasses for this one. This bright object suddenly appeared in the sky with no clue where it came from. Most onlookers initially claimed it could be some sort of an advertisement balloon or a float, but just look at it. That's not something man-made. It almost looked like a jellyfish-like creature casually floating in the air, only with a few shocking characteristics. Naturally, we were all a little stumped especially since we couldn't predict what it was. If it is an alien creature, let's hope they stick to the clouds. Midnight Cruiser This weird black orb suddenly dashed through the sky and landed smack dab in the middle of a field. Luckily, no one was hurt, but smart villagers immediately alerted authorities who rushed to investigate. Authorities had initially assumed it could be part of an aircraft that broke off but there weren't any recent flights in the area. The black object was encased in thin wires, and even first responders weren't able to identify it. Eventually, most concluded that it was a UFO, or part of one, albeit we're still looking for clues. The Sky Whale This giant object was seen swaying in the air over the Russian coast, and I've been trying to come up with a logical explanation, but just can't make any sense of it. At first, it looked like a reflection of some sort, or maybe something that was being projected into view, but that seems unlikely. I guess if you portray it at a certain angle, it could be a whale-like creature breaching the surface. Oh, who am I kidding? This is definitely a creepy creature that escaped from another planet, isn't it? And oh look, it's really flying back to where it came from. Phew! <laughs> Disco Dot I know Miami Beach has a vibrant party life, but a giant disco ball floating in the sea seems like a stretch. All right, if it isn't some disco ball, what is it? This shiny orb could be a UFO, but are we really ready for that discussion? Well, we'll see. 
in the Cube of Doom. An anonymous person uploaded this video of a mysterious cube floating in the Chihuahuan Desert in the US. A few commentators argued that it was a uniquely shaped hot air balloon, but for that to be true, you would have spotted the flame. Plus, the wind would have toppled it the second it rotated. It also had a little too perfect control over its movements. The way it effortlessly disappeared behind the mountains it might just be that there's something sitting inside controlling it. Star Streaker A dark sky suddenly disrupted by a bright tinge that cruised through clouds. This happened on an Australian beach in 2016 and was coincidentally captured by a resident testing out his new body camera. At first he thought it was some sort of missile and was naturally terrified, but he later realized it was just a meteor entering Australian airspace. The appearance of the meteor was followed by a deep rumble, as if it had crashed somewhere. But thankfully, everyone remains safe. Just as it was luck, the meteor hurtled into the ocean, miles away from the population. Creepazoid In the skies of Mexico, a cryptid creature emerged from the clouds and began its descent into madness. The cryptic creature is believed to be a goblin of some sort, a monstrous creature that can control its surroundings and has other magical powers. This goblin seems to be stalking the people below, as if trying to think what to do with them. It was noticed by a couple of tourists who were roaming the area during siesta, which explains why there's nobody else around. The goblin-like creature continued flying for a bit, watching their every move and ready to pounce if they did anything. Smartly, the tourist didn't do anything and remained calm. So the creep creature backed off. Man Made Horror In March 2023, while most of the world was cooped up in their houses, a strange creature took to the skies in Phoenix, Arizona. The creature resembled a human in shape and form, but its unique ability to fly in the air is a clear giveaway of it being something supernatural. The creature seemed to have taken advantage of the lockdowns and was casually floating, but little did it know someone who had snuck out to get fresh air was secretly recording it from a distance. After the video was uploaded, a few commentators noticed the creature was continuously moving up and down, suggesting that it might have escaped from a separate dimension and was trying to go back. Stone Rain In Sicily, residents witnessed an extraordinary event as the sky seemed to rain stones instead of water. People quickly grabbed their cameras to capture what they believed was a sign of an apocalypse. However, this unusual stone shower was actually caused by nearby volcanic activity. Volcanic eruptions have the power to shoot debris high into the atmosphere. So, this material can travel with the wind and fall back to Earth, creating this. Weirdly enough, this didn't only happen in Italy, but miles away in Romania, too. Well, let's just hope these people had really good car insurance. Born to Fly A couple of birds were seen suspended in the air, as if they'd gotten stuck and couldn't find their way out. Now, I do know a couple of reasons it could happen. Sometimes when a bird's wing rate matches the camera shutter, it looks like the bird is incredibly still. And yet, this isn't the case here. Bro, am I tripping? So, we could argue it's the parallax effect, when the angle of two objects makes one look like it's stuck in midair. But I've never seen the parallax effect of an entire flock at the same time, so maybe it's a bird mystery? Noisy neighbors. 
Forget black cats, it's time to put your car in reverse when you spot hundreds of these critters blocking your path. This happened just a few months ago in Nevada when an unexpected Mormon cricket invasion left citizens confused and creeped out. The creepy critters even stalked driveways and local neighborhoods, forcing people to stay cooped up in their houses. Researchers believed these crickets had recently hatched, but instead of following their normal migratory route, they were forced toward the city after recent droughts. Let's hope the residents bought earplugs, because imagine the noise. Fluttering oddity. At first glance, you'd think this was just an octopus, but that's not water. This mysterious creature was seen levitating in the air, flawlessly expanding what seems like tentacles. But we're not sure. It can't be a drone or a hot air balloon for obvious reasons. It's a bit too free floating for that. It's also not part of a rocket expulsion, so. What on earth is it? Well, I've only got two theories. Either it's some sort of sheet that somehow made it into the air, but how it kept afloat is beyond me. Or it's a mysterious creature, visiting from another planet, ready to take our own. Glow in the dark. These bright orbs were seen passing over Alaska's sky just three weeks ago and have the residents and authorities stumped. At first, most onlookers assumed it was a local airplane taking flight, but I don't remember any aircraft picking up those glowing green lights. Yeah, this is no plane. Some pinned it to a hologram, but there weren't any light shows taking place close by. Also, isn't it strange how these orbs are moving at a similar pace, as if they're matching every step or flight? It's almost like they're a fleet. Hmm, maybe aliens have a thing for flying in a straight line? Celestial Post You still think aliens don't exist? Watch this. This mysterious specter suddenly appeared in the sky and seemed to be reaching for the ground. Just above that, a strange object was floating, as if guiding the light with its every move. Since this happened in the US, most eyewitnesses swear it could be an alien abduction. After all, what other purpose could a UFO have with a display like this? Of course, a few others did try to come up with plausible explanations to try to figure out what it is. Some claimed it was the reflection of a lamppost, but you can see the top of it moving ever so slightly. Well, who knows? A Grim Specter. Well, time to invest in that safety bunker because it looks like strange outworldly creatures are finally stepping on Earth. This bizarre and rather spooky creature was seen descending in Mexico, sparking fear among locals. The creature was long and thin allowing it to easily bend to the will of the air, and yet managed to stay balanced as it slowly disappeared behind some buildings. A few tried to argue that it was just a hot air balloon that lost its flame, but eyewitnesses swear by the time they reached wherever it had landed, the mystery object had simply disappeared. It's odd and about. What is it with alien creatures really taking a liking with our airspace? They should really learn a thing or two about privacy. This strange figure floated over the skies in Nova Scotia, prompting multiple reports of the sighting. Now the odd figure almost fooled me into thinking it's a cloud. I just thought the wind shaped it like that. But the minute it disperses, focus on the center here. You can almost make out a dark shape at the core. Now, even if it's a cloud, what could be hiding beneath its fluffiness? Maybe it's an alien trying to disguise itself? Feathered Freefall In January 2011 in Arkansas, residents across cities woke up to a strange phenomena. Thousands of black birds lying lifelessly on the road after seemingly falling from the sky. The sight was so bizarre, some smart locals notified environmental workers. For a while, even after the birds had been collected, people didn't really know what to expect. If it was some sort of unexplained phenomena, 
that would mean strange things could happen in the future. But if the birds were suffering from some avian disease, it could risk locals and their cattle too. Well, experts concluded they'd fallen because the birds had crashed into the houses at night. But I think that's just a lousy cover-up. Cloudy with a chance. Would you expect a cloud to suddenly start acting like it's alive? This happened in the Middle East a decade ago, and we're still trying to figure out what the heck this is. The cloud initially hung in the air, but soon began changing its direction, as if a bit too easily influenced by the wind. And then it began to reach for the ground, and its cloudy acrobats took a wild turn. It almost looked like it was crawling on the ground, which is why I'm pretty sure there's some sort of strange creature hiding in its fluffy exterior. But that's not all. The bizarre cloud even stood up. Now I'm certain there's something seeking shelter within it. Bombay's Nightmare Can you picture it? Bright red blood raining down from the sky? Sounds like something straight out of a horror movie, right? Well, folks in India actually lived through this. Their streets and yards turned into rivers of red, sparking fears of a divine curse. But turns out it was actually just a bit of science and Mother Nature playing tricks on them. Sometimes when there's too much red dust in the sky, sometimes after a meteor shower or maybe just because of pollution, it can collect in water droplets that will eventually fall to the ground. So although it looks nightmarish, it's actually nothing but your average rain, tinged red thanks to the environment around it. Halo Luya. It looks like aliens are becoming pretty upfront with their abductions. This pillar of light was seen over the Mexican coast, and it's been puzzling us ever since. Now, before you go on saying it's just a break in the clouds, I thought that too, and assumed it was the sun shining through. But if you look at it closely, the pillar of light is twisting ever so slowly. You may not be able to tell immediately, but it's certainly moving. Now, I'm all up for aliens visiting the Earth and inspecting it, but why do they need to tackle our oceans? We need to give those marine creatures a break. Outworldly Bill A homeowner captured this strange sheet-like object falling from the sky in Montana. Since the owner had been seeing a few unusual sightings for a while, Residents were pretty uneasy with whatever bizarre object this could be. Theories ranged from a drone carrying TP in the air to the broken part of an aircraft. Some even joked it was a long CVS receipt, but turns out sometimes things do have an easy explanation. This is just part of a sheet that's fitted over crops to protect them. High winds blew up the sheet in the air and we're only seeing it return back to the ground. Jerusalem's Mystery 13 years ago, a couple of friends observed a bright object slowly moving over Jerusalem. Curious over the sight, they thought it was just an aircraft. But they'd never really seen anything like that before. The glowing object slowly drifted toward the center of the city, right where it could easily target the infamous Iron Dome. And it did exactly that. Two bright beams emerged from the mysterious UFO to the Iron Dome, and within the blink of an eye, darted back to the sky. Now that's scary enough, but notice how the Iron Dome didn't even react? Even if it's some kind of spy drone infiltrating the city, what kind of technology does it have to go undetected? Triton's Meal Who needs to go fishing when you can literally count on the sky to deliver food to you? In 2016, residents in India hit the jackpot when hundreds and hundreds of fish fell to the ground, some still alive for a while. While a few residents scooped up the fish to make delicious dishes, others alerted authorities who began investigating to find out how on earth something like this happened. Well, marine experts believe it could be because of a water spout. 
It might have picked up the fish, sucking them up out of the water and transporting them all the way to the roads. Gotham's Roost Why is it that whenever something weird happens with animals, it's always Australia? And just like that, this also happened in the land down under. Hundreds and thousands of bats lying lifelessly on the ground, having appeared mysteriously the night before. Although dubbed the bat rain, it wasn't actually a bat shower. This happened in 2014, when temperatures exceeded 110 degrees Fahrenheit, distressing these poor creatures and forcing them to drop to the ground. Most of the bats lost their lives because they were unable to cope with the heat, and reportedly about 5,000 of them were affected. In fact, the number was so high, local residents had to step up to clear them. Fish rain. Look at these citizens casually picking up the fish that rained from the sky. Yep, that's right. This fish rain happened in Malta, and the locals are clearly enjoying it. Things like this can happen rather frequently. The fish might be forced to land because of unpredictable atmospheric conditions, and sometimes rogue waves take to the ground. Either way, it's clearly a dinner feast for locals. Downpour of Wings Ouch! This must have hurt! This giant flock of birds suddenly came crashing down, almost losing its balance in the process. While some of the birds managed to get up, most of them lost their lives, prompting more confusion. Avian experts believe the birds might have been spooked by a predator and chose to nosedive instead. But there's no way all those birds were that freaked out by an animal. It had to be something evil for sure. Skycicles. Snowfall, not so rare. Icefall, and that too in the form of chunks. Yes, something is certainly off. Eight years ago, a resident in Ontario found her backyard flooded with chunks of ice that came bolting through the sky. Weirdly enough, it didn't happen anywhere else, not even next door. When she called the local PD to help her out, they claimed it might have fallen out of a passing plane, but I don't think that's true. Maybe they're just covering up for something far scarier. Nightwing. Night turned into morning as a bright flash lit up the sky within seconds, darkness again. As one driver was left baffled by the whole thing. It turns out a meteor had breached Earth's surface a few minutes into this recording and it was burning so much it caused the entire area to turn bright. Luckily, the meteor landed in a barren field, so no one was hurt. Blast from the past. A Mexican farmer was cleaning up in the field in Soto La Marina. When he noticed a peculiar rock picking it up, he found weird holes in a bizarre structure. Nothing like a regular rock. Turns out it was a meteorite that had visited the Earth several years ago and managed to remain hidden until he'd stumbled upon it. The meteorite was so big he needed a bunch of ropes to carry it, but I bet he made a fortune off of it. A month ago, a UFO crashed in Utrecht, Netherlands, and here's the video. While UFO enthusiasts believe this is a real sighting, most experts are skeptical, claiming the video has been doctored or is using CGI. Well, we can only wonder, but with all that happening around the world, we're bound to see something like this happening right in front of our eyes. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.